Hello, everyone. Catch you late. First of all, there are some questions, so I would like to answer those questions. <clears throat> I have developed a strong fear of awareness. In post meditation, I even have aversion to practice. How can I help myself through this ob obstacle? Uh, yeah, sometimes what we call is uh, energy movement. I think I mentioned energy movement in the past uh, lectures. Uh, the, this week, I mean the YouTube online live lectures. I talked about the energy movement last time. So sometimes we have energy movement, then when we meditate, and suddenly, sometimes we have energy movement, so when we meditate, suddenly we will feel um, fear. Sometimes a joy, sometimes depressed. So that is sometimes connected with the energy movement. So why this fear? Because uh, when you are, rest in the awareness suddenly there's some kind of light uh, there's some exp there's some experience which is uh, you never had before so therefore there's a uh, um, fear comes and for some people there's a fear of um, what we call fear of happiness fear of the beyond concept, fear of the profoundness. So sometimes there is some kind of fear, but that fear is a good sign. But anyway, both of both fear with energy movement or fear with the profoundness or or non conceptual, all these are good sign. The important is you have to recognize it is good sign. Then the, the relation will change. Otherwise, oh, I'm not supposed to have fear. Fear is no good. So that um, concept is the problem. But uh, if you know, oh, these are fear of awareness, fear of non-conceptual, fear of happiness, fear of uh, profoundness, these are good sign. So if you know it's a good sign and you tell yourself it's okay, it's okay, and eventually no problem. And sometimes if you have strong fear, you can do physical exercise. So that will help. And also, so meditation, when we have this strong fear, all this, there's four steps, right? I think I mentioned last video with the sensation meditation. So you can connect with awareness to be aware. First one, to be aware of what? Second is step back. No, second is try something different. So when you connect with awareness, sometimes that awareness associated with fear or sometimes you watch your panic, panic becomes stronger, change. Listen to sound or watch your breath. So do something else. Another meditation technique. And third is step back, meaning fear of fear, watch. Or aversion of the whatever practice or whatever the emotion. And the fourth is take a break. So don't practice meditation, just take a break. So taking break is sometimes part of practice. Sometimes feel very strong, take a break, no problem. Should we spend a longer time on a meditation or studying Buddhist philosophy? Uh, it depends. If you really want to study, you are young, you have energetic, you can study more, but of course, meditation is really important. In Buddhism, all this Buddhist philosophy, all this study is for meditation. So this is important. But if you don't have much time, you are busy, and you are a little bit, you know, the age is a little bit high, <laughs> then just focus on meditation practice. And study instructions. What are you go going to practice, learn well? and then meditate. 
So traditional example is E that's two way. Um one is traditional traditional example that's two way. One is if when you take medicine, if you know how this medicine, you know what is the things inside meditation me medicine, how to make this medicine, what is my disease? You learn all these things if you take medicine, good, you know. But then another is you didn't learn what is in the medicine and what is my disease, how to make medicine, but you have to go to meet one good doctor and you take medicine from the doctor and you eat it. So for the disease is same, but uh, if you learn a lot, actually it, it is help to prevent the wrong, wrong path, isn't it? But one problem is it takes so much time and if you don't practice, then there's a weakness. And the second is if the wrong doctor might be also a problem, isn't it? <laughs> but also another way is if you take it, if you take it, then imit if you take it, this medicine immediate benefit, right? So the one is um, beginning study a lot and meditate. And one person study what they want to practice. One to style one is study a lot and meditate. Second is just study the instructions how to practice and meditate. So this two style. Your teaching helped me a lot, but still I face panic and anxiety attacks. Am I expecting too much out of this meditation? So sometimes when we practice meditation, the all this panic, all this not go away right away. For me, it takes two, five years. I have panic when I was seven, but really I know when I was uh, um, eight and I learned meditation when I was nine, so I continue to meditate nine, ten, of course, on and off, on and off. Lazy, I'm lazy, you know. Uh, Eleven, so until when I went to retreat, so it took me five years to really become friend with the panic. <clears throat> so don't expect you learn meditation now and tomorrow will heal. So it takes some time. And another thing is motivation is very important. Don't try to, don't try to fight with the panic. So important is, um, I think very important. Don't try to fight with the panic. Important is, think about I'm going to learn how to live with my panic. I think this is really important. What do you do if you can't see the good in a person? Yeah. So if you cannot see. Normally, we can do the meditation of appreciation, gratitude. So you can write down about the person's normal, what we call, if there's 10 quality within that person, one negative, nine positive. We don't see nine positive. We see one negative, isn't it? So how to change that? So how to change that, you can write down. So five things every day, you can appreciate that yourself also. Sometimes people have self-hatred and appreciate about them yourself, appreciate about others, appreciate about the world, five things every day. That really helps. How to practice if sometimes sadness about what is happening is bigger than the desire to practice. Yeah, so that is the, sometimes it happens. So normally what we call, uh, try to develop inspiration. So to find the sense of meaning to practice. So why I'm, I'm practice, it's not only benefit for myself. I want to practice people who are around me. Because if you become a little bit peaceful, it helps your friends, family, and people around you. There's a really great influence coming. 
right? Kind of like contagious. And uh, and every even even you can give influence two or three people, they can influence another. Um, uh, internet connection is impermanent. <laughs> So they can influence another two or three people. So eventually it will help for the society bigger in general. And then another thing is um, what are the benefits for um, to find this is the, to discover your true nature. There's a lot of great quality within yourself to understand those things. So these are to sense to find the meaning the motivation is very important at the beginning and the second important is when you meditate you have to make do some creativity make it creative so maybe uh, there are many meditation techniques isn't it you know breath sound mental recitation appreciation so many different many meditation techniques what you can do is change time to time so changing is very important one meditation technique is bought and the second thing is that you can maybe let's say you can make special um, for one or two days special work with the anxiety or maybe meditate while you're walking, meditate while um, doing exercise or cooking. Or tomorrow I will focus more about cooking meditation. Mm, exciting. Or next day I will do meditation with uh, you know, talking. You know, something. Oh, what, what is this experience? So and next day I will do meditation with uh, watching on the smartphone. You know. You might have this habit, but you can join your existing habit with the meditation. Glimpse, glimpse, glimpse. Okay. So, today's teaching is about how to free the causes of suffering or causes of unhappiness. So, normally, the Buddha teach about four noble truths, four truths. So first is the truth of suffering, second is the truth of causes of suffering, and then the third is nirvana, which is the freedom, and the last is the path, the truth of path. So there are four noble truths. So we discuss a lot about the suffering, from the beginning and we I discussed a little bit about uh, the path uh, meditation also so today I would like to main focus about the causes of suffering so the causes of suffering or causes of unhappiness is normally there are three things there so aversion attachment or craving and ignorance so there are three things. So aversion is uh, kind of like rejecting, um, dislike, uh, try to get rid of, which is you don't like it. So try to push away aversion. And then the attachment, craving, is try to get, try to uh, achieve. And base of this two is ignorance. The underlying of this two is ignorance. So this three is the causes of suffering. So maybe I will give example about uh, my panic. So when I was young, I had panic attacks. Uh, 
connection is okay. Mm. Yeah. So when I was young, I had panic attacks. So my panic, the one of the main problem for my panic is panic of panic, fear of panic, aversion. So it took me five years to recognize that aversion. You know, I have this aversion since eight years old. And even though I received this meditation from my father, and uh, my father always said, don't try to fight with my panic. Make it as friend. So I tried that, but still in my mind, you know, when I try to accept my panic, when I try to make friend with my panic, my main motivation is try to get rid of my panic. Hello, panic, welcome. If I say welcome, then you will not come back again, you know. So five years. So then I went to retreat for three years retreat, you know, three years non-stop retreat. And I told everybody, oh, I can do this retreat, you know, although I'm young. But then what happened the first month, my panic become worse. And I thought I want to leave for out of retreat, but I feel embarrassed because I told many of my friends, no, I can do this. So then in the end, I really accept my friend. And I decided to learn how to live with my panic. How I decided to learn how to live with my panic. So that has really helped me. When I let go of aversion, then all of a sudden, it's kind of like openness, relief some kind of freedom and my mind become bigger and then I don't mind panic you know although symptoms still there so so then uh, when I really accept my panic symptoms still there but then this Dislike feelings gone. I don't mind with the panic. And in fact, I feel a little bit, when the panic comes, I feel excited, you know. Oh, now panic is coming. Oh, hello. So that really helps. Okay. So maybe, and this is not with the panic, not only with panic. You can look at entire your life. The real cause of suffering is this aversion. One, of course, three. The one of the one of the main causes. Yeah, three. But one of the main causes is this aversion. So that aversion create panic, depression, uh, fear, um, sense of um, insecurity. So that is not only with the panic. Everything in your life. Depression also. And that happened with the relationship. At your workplace. The more you try to push away in the mind, more resist, more there's more aversion, then then more difficult. More resist, more push away, and more difficult in your life. Okay, so maybe we will, so this is not only with the panic, right? Everything in your life related with this aversion has become very, make worse. So maybe we will do a small example today. So normally what I call pizza meditation. So we will do pizza meditation. So internet connection is not so well. So now pizza meditation is, There's one rule, there's one rule, that you are not allowed to think of pizza for one minute. Okay? So I will say one, two, three. So when you hear the number, when I say three, when you hear three, don't think about pizza. You can think of anything. 
you can think about um, Apple, Pass, Future, To Do List, whatever, but no pizza. Okay, now please close your eyes. Okay, I will say one to three. Okay, when you hear three, please don't think about pizza. Two, three, no pizza. Don't think pizza. Hmm. How was it? Did you think about pizza or no? <laughs> I bet you think about pizza. I think more pizza comes in your mind. Isn't it? The moment of you said, don't think about pizza. What happened? We will think about pizza. So now here, don't think about pizza. It's aversion. You try to block, resist, dislike, push away. So when you try to push away, what we do is, what our mind does, the opposite. You will think more about the pizza. So then what happened? Slowly, slowly, you will make small problem as big problem. So small problem seemingly become bigger, 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 louder, louder, more powerful. It will hurt you. It will make you unhappy. So that's the aversion. So then there's some. When there's aversion, then opposite there's a craving. And the craving is looking for something. Really want to get it. And that is the solidifies become very strong is like um, drinking what we call drinking salty water the more you drink you will more you will feel more thirsty like for example if you go to exam you prepare for the exam for many weeks soon as if you enter the exam hall half of your mind empty so then you see all these questions, and you know, oh, I know the answer. I know the answer. I know the answer. Answer don't want to come. <laughs> then the time's up. You know, the exam time is finished. And when you go out of the exam hall, the moment of you come out of exam hall, oh, I remember, oops, you know, now too late. Isn't it? So, Aversion and craving, these two are the, like when you drive a car, accelerator and brake, right? So like that. So we are driving car of samsara. Samsara meaning suffering. Cycle, cycle of suffering. So we are driving car of suffering. By aversion, accelerator, aversion, craving, aversion, brake, accelerate, accelerator, and brake using this two aversion. And base of this two is engine. We have to own the engine, right? That is ignorant. So what is ignorant? Opposite of awareness. So ignorant is without awareness, love and compassion and wisdom. So this three. These three, awareness, compassion, wisdom, 
always together actually. It's kind of like flame has light, heat, and the color, right? Just one thing, but different quality. So how to free this suffering? You cannot really free suffering. I want to free my suffering. It doesn't work. Like, don't think about pizza. You will think more pizza. I, I need peace. So when you look for peace, peace will say, I'm busy. I don't have time. You have to make appointment. So when you look for something, look like that thing is going away. When you try to get rid of something, looks like that thing is always available. Come to you more. So you cannot really free suffering, unhappiness. Just thinking that I want free. I want happiness. Doesn't work. So now what to do then? So you have to know the secret. The secret of the universe. <laughs> you have to know the real secret, the key. So what is the secret? So here in the meditation, the real secret is, the real secret is, it's just there with you actually, the real secret. It is your fundamental quality. It is, it is your true nature. It is there with you, but you need to recognize it. That's the big secret. You are perfect. Fantastic. I told, I discussed this many times in the last teachings, isn't it? So we need to recognize that. So what we need to recognize? The secret within us, the key. <laughs> so the, what are the secrets? Awareness, compassion, wisdom. So that we need to recognize. So, so within these few days, I discuss about meditation technique many times and a little bit about love and compassion and appreciation a little bit. So, for example, we learn about the breathing meditation, right? Breathing meditation. So when we learn about breathing meditation, we are connecting with awareness. So watching the breath. Okay, so now today, the online live teaching was uh, not successful. So this was a um, great lesson. Impermanent. So now I'm watching my feeling, <laughs> aware of my sensation in my body. That is awareness. And don't try to fight with that sensation. Mm. You know, we have this uh, conceptual mind saying, oh, it's too bad. Many people are and waiting and then from the physical level they might have different sensation comes from stomach sometimes from heart and it's like wave is go throughout the body so then you just be with that to aware and um, and then these sensations become your friend just like breath. The breath become your friend. Now this sensation become your friend. This sensation become object of your meditation. And when you are facing this sensation, the aversion is not there. So when you watch your breath, you don't have the aversion of your breath, right? I don't want this breath. I'm practicing breathing meditation. Stop my breath. It doesn't work. You need breath, isn't it? The same thing now when you meditate with the sensation, you can have sensation. Although unpleasant sensation, you can meditate with unpleasant sensation. And now unpleasant sensation become support for your meditation. Perfect. And you just be with it. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to control the sensation. You don't need to fight the sensation. You are embrace be with this sensation 
And then what happened? The sensation is become like cloud in the sky. And awareness become like sky. So awareness is with us all the time. No matter what kind of bad sensation, or crazy sensation, pleasant sensation, unpleasant sensation. It doesn't matter. So crazy weather. In my hometown, we have snowstorm in the winter. Crazy for a few months. Summer thunderstorm, also crazy. And my father said, it doesn't change sky, right? Sky is always present, pure, free. Understand? So awareness is like that, actually. Our awareness. But we don't see them. We are not recognize them. So that recognition is the wisdom. <clears throat> so freedom, the real liberation, freedom, begin with this wisdom. Recognize the awareness. Recognize love and compassion with us 24 hours, actually. And recognize within, recognize wisdom within ourselves. So these are very important. So, how to free aversion and craving? First important is wisdom. So once you recognize who you are, you are great. You have awareness, you have love and compassion, you have wisdom. So your fundamental quality is like sky. So this is really important. So then after that, what happened is you will what we call doing versus being. So you just be with, the, for example, when you watch breath, first step is watching breath, isn't it? Sometime, you know, when I was young, I have this question, you know, watching breath is stupid. I want to free my panic. And then my father said, watch your breath. Today, watch your breath. Tomorrow, next month, watch your breath. So watching breath is what? What is the benefit of watching this breath? It's stupid, you know. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And every day doing the same thing. <laughs> but actually we are connecting with awareness. So awareness is our fundamental quality. So this is why it really helps us to be free. Although it looks like stupid, right? At the beginning. Wisdom is very smart. You know the reason. Love and compassion. Oh, nice. Touch. But the awareness looks like at the beginning is stupid. <laughs> but, so, but this is really important. So first, even when we learn meditation with the breathing, first we connect with awareness, knowing the breath is wisdom. And then we are allowed to have thought, emotion. Not like pizza meditation. Pizza meditation, don't think about pizza, right? So now with the breathing meditation, you can have pizza. You can have past, present, future thought, to-do list, panic. You can have depression, anger. Let them come. But you're not lost. As long as if you remember your breath, just a glimpse of remembering your breath. So just a glimpse of the breath, as long as if you remember your breath, everything you're welcome. If there's 10 pizza comes around you, okay, you know, breathing in, breathing out, one pizza comes like this, breathing in, another pizza comes like that, and breathing in, breathing out. Okay, so when you when you say okay, that is really brave actually, courage. That is the beginning of opening, opening yourself, welcoming, and that is really you are learning how to free the aversion. You cannot free aversion that I'm trying to free this aversion, it doesn't work. But then you just Welcome, you know, whatever comes. You don't have to look for them. If pizza doesn't want to come, great. You don't need to look for pizza. If pizza want to come, welcome. So that is your freeing aversion. From the subtle level. 
This is the key secret. I told you we have a secret, right? We have another key for secret. So this is really subtle level. You are working with the brand. Then second important is no. Now is third important, isn't it? First important, you connect with the brand. That's that's awareness, wisdom. Second is welcoming. So you're freeing aversion. And third is don't care about the quality now. So good meditation, bad meditation, peace, joy, clarity, non-conceptual, ulala, <laughs> whatever those experience. Don't care about those. As long as if you still remember your breath, glimpse, glimpse, not very long. So awareness is important. Joy, clarity, non-conceptual. These are the experience of meditation, not the essence of meditation. So essence of meditation is awareness. So awareness is important. Don't care about those. Connect with awareness. And then one good news is awareness with you all the time. Remember sky. Sky is always there, no matter how much the crazy cloud comes. You cannot lose sky. You cannot lose awareness actually. So all these feelings like panic, depression, joy, it's like wave of the ocean. Wherever wave goes, the water goes. The wave cannot go beyond water. So water is the awareness. Wave is this up and down emotion. Same with the sky. Cloud is always in the sky. And the cloud cannot go beyond sky. So you don't need to care as long as this glimpse of the awareness. So this way you are freeing the causes of suffering, causes of unhappiness. When you free, when you free that. So remember how to free this? You cannot free that I want to free, right? When you say no pizza, more pizza. When you look for I need the answer, you cannot find the answer. So that's how our, our monkey mind works. So now key is here. <clears throat> Just connect with your fundamental quality. Awareness, love and compassion and wisdom. So now here, our main focus, the first step is the awareness. But as I mentioned before, there is love and compassion. Because when you welcome pizza, welcome to-do list, welcome panic, Welcome to depression. That is the real kind. That is the real compassion. You're not fighting with yourself. You're not fighting with those. Actually, you're really kind. Whatever mistake, whatever past guilt, whatever past worry, let them come. That is the compassion. That is the real kindness. So, love and compassion also there. And then, at the same time, there's a wisdom. Recognition of awareness is the wisdom. So, wisdom is there. Love and compassion is there. Then, of course, awareness is also there. So, three. Three, three in one. You know, Sometimes we can buy coffee. Three in one, right? <laughs> buy one, get two free. So, then, Eventually what happened, you will discover awareness, love and compassion, wisdom within you. So that is what we call the uh, cessation, truth of cessation, nirvana, freedom, liberation. So you will discover who you are. The nirvana is not like the place where you can go. Very nice place, you know. There's no such place wherever you go. There's no such place that there's no suffering, actually. Wherever you go, if you're not free this aversion, craving, and ignorance within your mind, the suffering will follow you as like shadow wherever you go. Even though you reach the best place, very nice, fantastic, Panic will follow you there. 
But if you're free here, then this is the nirvana. This is the freedom. This is the liberation. So that is the third, um, what we call noble truth. So today I main focus it is true. So we I already focused last time about truth of suffering. All these lectures I took a lot of those and the path which is meditation, breathing meditation, sound, the mental recitation first step and second step with the watching aware, watching the sensation. Third step is open awareness. I already discussed this and the appreciation, gratitude also. So some parts there and today the causes of suffering is aversion craving attachment and ignorance right and how to free that recognizing the nirvana what is nirvana your true nature awareness love and compassion wisdom which is there within yourself you have to recognize so this is true cause of suffering and freedom so now there's one big question um i think i borrowed something oh, yeah here my mom one very big question so no attachment no aversion then how you can live your life you know and i look everything is you know i don't need this and i don't want i i will not say i don't want i will not say i want this everything is equal no aversion no attachment <laughs> and you may become like zombie many people worry about this but actually i will give you one example you know so this is a uh, mala aversion attachment Ignorant is like my hand, sometimes what we call grasp. So this is the how our normal life works. Try to grasp my job, although very stressful, but I have to do this. My relationship, my life. Oh, my life not perfect. There's something coming out here. I have to catch this again. Oh, oh another problem. Oh, here, oh, there. Mm. Oh, lose more. Big problem. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, gone. No, give up. So, if you, if you, if you don't have grasping, no aversion, no attachment, then we think like we lose everything, isn't it? In a way, it's true, right? If you don't hold mala, you will lose money, right? Lose job. Lose relationship. But there's another way. Although you let go of your hand, but you will not lose. So this is another big secret. I don't know. Should I tell you or not? If you want me to tell you, um, then <laughs> yeah, maybe I will tell you. <laughs> so I will show you one magic. So the magic is... So this magic is, although I let go of my hand, but it will not lose mala, okay? Magic, one, two, three. <sighs> Hop! So I let go of my hand, but mala is still there. So it's different. So although you will slowly free from aversion, craving, ignorance, but you still have wisdom. That wisdom is really important. You still have love and compassion. You will have awareness. So awareness, love and compassion, wisdom, it really helps your life. Actually, it will help to develop peace, happiness, skills, talents. If you want, it will help for the relationship. It will develop your life outside, inside. It will benefit for yourself, benefit for others. Win-win situation. Right? So, therefore, don't worry. Sometimes what we call, we have three sense of self. Unhealthy sense of self, 
just like this grasp. Then there's healthy sense of self. Like this. <coughs> you swim. It's opposite of grasping. But still you are there. Then last is luminous self. Or <coughs> self beyond self. Or the ultimate <coughs> ultimate reality. Excuse me. <coughs> so step by step practice. And I will stop here for for today. And sorry about the today internet was uh, not good for the not good for the <clears throat> live streaming but i think this record will benefit for you thank you